how bad can the effects of an embezzlement get? Well, here's a perfect example. Here's a, a mid-sized company in Central Oregon, in the Oregon uh, Willamette Valley, that had a newspaper, decent-sized newspaper, and an employee embezzled money. That money being stolen resulted in this company going out of business. They had to lay off their entire staff, and they had to stop printing their newspaper after this embezzlement happened. How can that be? Well, you don't have to steal all the money from a company to put them out of business. Most companies have a profit margin that's between 15 and maybe 25%. Some companies that have high margins are 30%. Some low margin companies like restaurants, grocery stores, and dealerships have maybe 10%. But let's say if you're a 15% profit margin company, that means all the money you take in you only keep 15% after you pay all your bills, your expenses, your rent, your payroll, your insurance, you pay everything, you're net left with 15%. So if somebody steals 20% of your money, you're out of business. You don't have the money to keep that business going. So it doesn't take much. And many times the scammer doesn't realize that. They're just stealing as much as they can, but they steal enough to put the company out of business. So if you are a any size company, small, medium, large company, make sure you're performing good due diligence, make sure you have best practices in place. You can read about it on our website. And if you do suspect a fraud happening from an employee or an embezzlement happening, you wanna do an investigation to get to the bottom of it to make sure that your suspicions aren't true that could cost your company its future.